In today, today's math message, we're going to be looking at a picture to solve this problem. I'm going to read it to you right now, then I'm going to show you the picture, and I will read you the question again. And um, hopefully while you're looking at the picture, it will help you understand the question. So we are going to be looking at some birds on the next screen, and the birds are going to uh, have... Um, um, what their mass is. You know how we've measured mass? Well, it's going to tell you the mass of these birds. And they don't know exactly what the mass is, so it, they're going to say, well, the mass of, you know how some birds are are bigger than others? So they're going to say this, ma the mass of this bird is between this mass and this mass. And the mass of this bird is between this and this. And so you're going to have to look, and the question is, could five blue jays, so they're going to show you the mass of blue jays, have a greater total mass than an Atlantic puffin? So when we go to the other page, we're going to look for the blue jays, and we're going to look for the Atlantic puffins. And we're going to see, could five blue jays have a greater mass or a less mass than one Atlantic puffin? And they say here, try to solve the problem in your head. Now, a lot of times with everyday math, we tell you, please show your work, do the work, uh, figure it out on paper. Well, on this one, they want you to try to do it in your head um, and not do it on paper. Try to do it in your head and then tell how you did it in your head. Be prepared to explain your answer. So I'm going to go to the next page now and I'm going to show you the picture. We're going to look again. You're going to see a lot of birds and they want you to find the blue jays and the Atlantic Puffin. So here we go to the next screen. All right, there's your birds. Okay, I see the Atlantic Puffin right here, okay? And the Atlantic Puffin is between 400 grams and 650 grams. So, you know, they vary in size. So there is the mass of an Atlantic Puffin. Now we have to look for the blue jay. Oop, I see him right down here. See him? So the blue jay is between 70 grams and 100 grams. Now let me talk, tell you the question again. While you're looking at these birds and the mass, look at the mass here, look at the mass here. Um, the question is, could five Blue Jays have a greater total mass than one Atlantic Puffin, or could they have five Blue Jays have less than a mass of one Atlantic Puffin? That's the question. Do they, five of these, are they less than or greater than one of these? Carefully look at the numbers. In your head, try to figure out five of these, one of these. Would it be less than or greater than? Five of these would be less than one of these or greater than one of these. Now I know some of you have figured it out in your head. I'm giving you a little time to think about it. You're going to remember five times. Okay, as I look at this, I remember we've done extended facts earlier. So I'm thinking 70 times 5 is the same as 7 times 5. What is 7 times 5? Count by fives 7 times. 7 times 5 
is 35. Okay, then we add a zero to it because it's 70. So 350. So five times a blue jay would be 350. The lowest gram would be 350. The lowest gram for Atlantic Puffin is 400. So is that less than or greater than? Is 350 less than or greater than 400? I hope you said less than. Now if I, let's take the highest gram. If I remember five times, five of these. So I'm going to times it by five. So I'm, or you could add a hundred, five times would be 500, 500. So five of these birds, the highest gram mass they would be, would be 500. One of these birds, the highest mass is 650. So, would five blue jays be less than or greater than one Atlantic puffin? And your answer would be they are less than, less than. And hopefully you were able to do that in your head and try to figure that out. That is what today's all about. Um, I'm going to give you another one that might not be on this math message. It's five house sparrows. Is five house sparrows greater than or less than a mountain dove? Okay. Oh, sorry, a morning dove. So here's a morning dove right here. And there's a house sparrow right here. Okay. So is five of these going to be greater or less than this one? Okay. Look at them carefully. Five. Remember? So, so think of five times, five times four, five times four is 20, and then you add a zero, that's 200. So the highest would be 200. Look at one, the highest of the of one morning dev is 170. And then if I, five times 25, you know, Four times 25 is 100. 25 plus 25 plus 20, it's like four quarters is a dollar. So four 25s is 100. So five 25s would be 125. And look at one of the smaller grams is 112. So would five of these be greater than or less than one of these? What's your answer? I hope you said five of these would be greater than one of these. Okay, that's how you do it in your head. Sometimes we can do some of these facts in our head and do mental math instead of doing it on paper. Although everyday math often wants you to show show your work on paper. But today, for our math message, they want you to kind of try to figure it out in your head. Okay?